The bomb was made up of between 450 and 500 pounds of explosives packed into seven creamery cans. The elaborate trap began early yesterday morning when one of the bombers set fire to a nearby cottage belonging to a police constable. The terrorists planned to ambush the police as they drove the few hundred yards to the cottage. But the police didn't respond to the fire and the trap was discovered when firemen spotted wires coming from the trailer on which the creamery cans had been loaded. The command wire led to a firing point near St Mary's Roman Catholic Church in Newton Butler. The Church of Ireland rector in the village condemned the terrorists for putting particularly civilian lives at risk. People up here in Camp Hill Estate uh, were facing directly onto it and then in the morning uh, the, the children came to the play school and didn't uh, fully understand that this was uh, such a serious uh, item and they're within, uh, uh, within 50 to 60 yards off the bomb. As that interview went on, the army made safe the firing point they suspected may have been booby-trapped. The bomb wasn't fully diffused until 3 o'clock, but normal controlled explosions weren't used because some elderly people in the nearby Camp Hill estate couldn't be moved from their homes. Yet nearly 200 people had to spend yesterday, last night and this morning with relatives and friends.